Well, hello and welcome everyone. I'm John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and today I have a spectacular array of what is and what is not true, i.e., well, this is not all that it's cracked up to be. So those of you who are new to my channel, you may be looking and going, holy cow, Ace Bullion, that's pretty awesome. Those of you who have watched for, well, a number of years or even a, a year or so will know that all is not what is to be seen. That's right. Sadly, there are a number of fakes. So before I dive in, go through some nitty gritty, horrible stuff, awesome stuff, let me tell you that not all of this is fake. No, not at all. And, uh, you know, I implore you guys to actually take a minute and see if you can spot what is and what is not fake. Can you? Well, pause the screen, see what you can find, and tell me how many you found that are real. Hmm. Okay, so with that being said, let me put a little uh, snippet right in here that will give you an indication because I spent a lot of time on this today. So that hopefully will save, you know, some aggro for you guys. Here we go. Okay, so the actual time that I had spent on you know, the phone call actually exceeded that screenshot there of eBay. Yep. Um, and I was actually quite surprised. Now, why am I mentioning eBay? Well, the thing is, is that I bought three items that are fake. Yep. Three items here in this pile that are fake. And uh, quite frankly, I'm really surprised. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things where I actually, I spoke to the representative and she was really helpful and really nice. So thank you, you know, if you're watching, thank you. Um, I have given her, uh, you know, the details here. But the real struggle that I have with eBay is that they really don't give a monkeys, really. And I'm, I'm using my language really carefully here because they don't care. So I'm gonna get refunded on these three items that I purchased, knowing that honestly, they are fake. And the reason I purchased them is so that you don't have to go through this and so that you're also aware of what to look for. In fact, well, as I go on, you'll see what I mean. Because if you were to look up these items and to see as a genuine picture from the dealer themselves, from the mint themselves, you're gonna see an item that looks identical to these items. However, the real items, well, they differ slightly. And of course, not to mention, you probably guessed it already. Yes, they're highly magnetic. Um, but not all of these here are magnetic. No, please be aware. Not all of these are magnetic. Um, obviously the real ones, but also uh, the fake ones. Nope, not at all. So if you think that I have an impressive collection here of gold sovereigns, which also includes a modernized up-to-date one here. Well, you are wrong. These are fake, counterfeit, baloney, nothing but a prop now because, well, they're never gonna see the light of day and I'll make sure that on my grave they get destroyed. I don't want anyone getting a hold of these things. Uh, that's how bad they are. In fact, you know, I label up my things as fakes. Yep, that's right. So let's cut the bull ace and let's get straight into this and let's make it a relatively quick video. So that's what I'm gonna do. So here we go. Well, you guys probably guessed it. We're talking today about the Perth Mint series. Yep, now this is the brand new two ounce highly collectible. It's actually going back to the Silver Trader, not for any reasons apart from the fact that, well, it has a really high premium that I can't afford, not at this moment. Now we can tell it's Perth Mint, we have a lovely P sign here, and I didn't bring out my lighting, apologies. Um, but. Yep, Perth Mint, this is real, you guessed it, okay. However, we also have two more. And before I do anything, hold on, let me stop and put this in to perspective for you guys. One sec. So if all is, if all is gone to plan, you should have just seen what the screen looks like for a genuine item, and here we go. We'll start off with the rear side of things. 
one of these is fake, one of them is not. And if you take a look here, one of them is fake and one of them is not. This is the year of the tiger, the brand new Perth Mint. And again, we can tell because we have the letter P. We also have down below one ounce, four nines silver, one dollar. Yep. And let's see here on the same one. Does this one have it? Oh yeah, there it is. That's the P there. And yeah, one ounce, four nine silver, one dollar. So they both have the same markings, but which is fake and which is real? You know, I asked you for a number before, but tell me left or right on this one. Three, two, one. And you may or may not have got it. This is real, okay? However, as you've seen the screenshot, this one is what looks to be the image that the Perth Mint shows for dealers. Yeah, that's right. So this is a little bit different. We'll put this aside because this is what we're going to be talking about here. And of course we know, well, I know for a fact that is real as well. So that now leads us with another, well, what did I buy? Well, before I go fully into that, I'm sure you can see in front of you. Well, we know that American, <laughs> when do they ever rotate like that for a start, okay? Um, ping test will not work, folks. Let me just tell you that. That's a, I know some of you are going to kill me for that. Kookabra. Yeah, that's fake. All these I'm showing you are fakes right now. Okay. And again, ironically, eBay doesn't really give a monkey's backside because I tried to say, look, you know, some of these are not one, they're intellectual property rights uh, and they're owned. They're also trademarked. Uh, and some of them, in which case, like what I've just shown you here, these liberties, well, they're technically government backed coins. So, you know, copying, copying these and replicating these are a federal offense. But no, people still want to do it. And well, people still fall for it. Come on, guys, who the heck are buying these as real coins? No, honestly, the jokes. Uh, then, of course, we have, hold on a minute there. We have, oh, we got another lovely kookaburra. And we got, <laughs> got to watch out for these ones. It's 2015. Yeah, so they're making them so that they even look older. Yep. And, of course, kook, which is, you know, the anniversary edition. Um, oh, one of my favorite ones here. Look at this, Spider-Man. 100% fake. Hmm. And then, of course, because I'm not content, we're going to have a fake American nickel. So, if you guys are wondering whether or not, you know, um, whatever company, I'm not going to name, well, it's probably China, let's be honest here. Um, why did I actually bother replicating a buffalo nickel? Well... I'll tell you what, it doesn't really matter because they're even doing it as small as dimes as well. So, yeah, they're all fake. And again, you get the uh, Perth Mint. Again, really highly faked, uh, by the way, the Perth Mint. Um, I, I'm not quite sure why. This Perth Mint blob or a fake Perth Mint blob. Apparently, it's one troy ounce here. And, well, we know that that's fake. Perth Mint, I'd love to know if you would like to comment because that would be awesome. You can obviously get in contact with me and my details. So here's the three fakes that I bought. Yeah, that's right, guys. This is all that's left. We got the three fakes right here, including yeah, a rather highly um, suspect uh, tiger, the year of the tiger. Yep. We even have the ox. My goodness. Look at that. And... Of course, the one I've just shown you. In fact, again, just to bring it to your attention, here's what the real one looks like. Now, once you see the real one up close, you're going to easily be able to identify the two. However, it just is really, really bad. Now, the other thing I'd like to point out to you, as I said, they are highly magnetic. And, well, let's get out the old slider test. Ta-da! No point really even bothering trying to slide them because, well, quite frankly, they're sticking. Yeah, there, there you go. 
is stuck. Will this one stick to that one? Almost, no. Okay, oh, there we go. Yowzers. So, okay, you get the idea. These things stick really well. Um, so, what about, I don't know. What about the weight? Because perhaps, I don't know. Perhaps no one checks them with a magnet, and I, I'm pretty sure a simple magnet you know, will stick to them immediately. Um, bear in mind that you guys can pick them up from Silver Trader for free. Um, you know, just add them to your order and go from there. But let's see what these weights are on these things. I'm curious because let's put the mode into Troy ounces. Ounces Troy. Now, let me just turn this down a little bit and so that you can see there. Hopefully this will show up. Let's see if I can get this out of the capsule. No, they have them in almost like these, well, maybe I could. They have them in these really super tight capsules, but uh, I'm not to be deterred by that. I hope. <laughs> let, me, let me just pause this really quickly and I'll open up one. All right, sorry about that. So I've actually opened up all three of them for you. So we're gonna start off here with the year of the ox here. And we're gonna see here how many Troy ounces it is. I'm not bothered about it's in my hands. It's gonna show up, oh, 0.934 Troy ounces. I'm sorry if you can't see that, it's not really, whoops. Just, you're gonna to have to take my word for that. It was 0.934 um, Troy ounces. Let's see what the other ones were. So they're relatively close, but here's the thing that bothers me is of course, the bean sold as commemoratives, but it's telling me it's one ounce, three nine, uh, sorry, four nines fine silver. Uh, well, these are clearly meant to go on the lucrative market. So again, we have another one displaying this pure silver. 0.918 ounces Troy, eek. Not good at all. Let's see if I zoom out, will that help with the scale? No, nope, it's still not gonna show up in the light here. So, okay, 0.9 again, but let's find out what, and that was just that one. And please understand that this actual weight of these will all vary. Here's a colorized one, lovely, jubbly. Again, four nines fine silver apparently. 0.928 of an ounce try. So, what do you guys think? I wanted to warn you all about what is actually happening to let you know that obviously these fakes have been circulating, still are circulating, and you know, eBay really are not doing that good of a job in policing it. Um, even though I've offered my own assistance, and I actually said to the representative, free of charge. You know, I'm happy to give you a bunch of item numbers that are absolutely a joke, you know, that I'm happy to go through. Um, but uh, they said, sorry, we don't, you can't get in contact with that department. Now, what's frustrating is obviously, one, they're ripping off the Perth Mint. I'm not sure what the Perth Mint are doing, uh, but they're also ripping off, you know, the US Mint. They're ripping off various other companies uh, across the globe. And some of these I do know for a fact have ended up into private collectors pockets uh, or vaults or savings and you know it's a waste of money so um, how to combat this well I'd love to know what your thoughts and opinions are I'd love to for you to share it with me um, I'm hoping that someone from eBay will actually contact me um, if anyone can send this on to the Perth Mint, these are the latest and greatest of fakes that are occurring, uh, not to be confused with the actual real set above for you. Um, but just to let you know how scary these really are from those photos that I've shown you. Um, and you know that these things really, really are bad. Um, so whether you're buying a gold sovereign or whatever, you really need to be buying it from a reputable dealer. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today. Um, I have a lot to discuss on this subject. I'll keep you guys updated, but I thought I'd give you a little special and uh, a little heads up as well. Thank you for watching and be safe. Bye for now.